Hey everyone, welcome back to Pureology. Today I'm excited to showcase a high performance gaming PC that I'm putting up for sale on Java. This build is perfect for anyone looking to play the latest games at medium to high settings in 1080 or 1440 with FSR without breaking the bank. An added perk is that this graphics card supports AMD frame generation or fluid motion frames to boost frame rates, giving you even more bang for your buck. So let's dive into the specs and see how it performs in some of the most popular titles out there today. So let's take a closer look at what's inside this beast. We have the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X3D with the same 96 megabyte L3 cache as the more well-known 57 and 5800X3D. This is a fantastic CPU known for its exceptional gaming performance. Paired with the criminally underrated 6600XT, this combo is ready to handle anything you throw at it. I've also included 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM at 3600 CL16 and a Samsung 980 Pro 1 terabyte NVMe SSD for super fast load times. Handling cooling duties is the efficient low profile ID cooling IS55. Moving on to the gaming benchmarks, first we have Escape from Tarkov. This is a clip from my most recent live stream actually testing out this rig on Streets of Tarkov. This is the most resource heavy map in the game. I was averaging around 90 to 110 FPS and 1440 FSR 2.2 balanced using medium textures here. Performance was very good and gameplay was smooth. In the current patch 14.9.7, performance is down pretty bad for all systems, but this rig was running streets like a champ. Next I took it to Lighthouse where I was able to average roughly 140 FPS. This map runs like a dream now. At these frame rates, Tarkov really feels like a different game as you can see. Next up we have Modern Warfare 3 and 1440 FSR 3.0 balance. First, I'm showing multiplayer performance here. This is gameplay on Rust in the small map mosh pit playlist. We're hitting just about a 144 FPS average. Gameplay again is buttery smooth, input lag is non-existent, and clicks feel instant. There's no motion blur and it's just a very enjoyable experience in terms of gameplay. After testing out multiplayer, I played a round of Warzone Resurgence on Rebirth Island here. Again, hovering right around a 144 FPS average. Gameplay is super smooth and responsive, there's no motion blur and it's just visually very pleasing. If you're an MW3 or Warzone player, this rig is capable of providing a very high level experience. Next up is another popular FPS title, Counter Strike 2. I'm running 1440 on low settings for this test here. This is a less demanding title graphically so the numbers are usually higher. On this rig, I was averaging right around 375 FPS game ran incredibly well, inputs felt instant, motion looked so smooth, and it felt very nice to revisit Dust 2 on this build. Up next is Helldivers 2. For this test, I ran the game at 1440p using the medium graphics preset and enabled fluid motion frames. At higher difficulties like 7 and above, the number of enemies on the map can significantly impact performance. However, with FMF, I was able to maintain 80 to 90 FPS, even on difficulty 7, with swarms of terminids crawling everywhere, the graphics remained impressive and the high frame rate kept the gameplay looking buttery smooth on my 240Hz monitor. If you are a Helldiver, this rig will allow you to spread democracy in a highly efficient manner. Moving on, here's Fortnite in 1440p performance mode. I ran a zero build match for this test. Frame rates ranged from 350 to 500 plus FPS depending on the part of the map. As with the other titles, gameplay was incredibly smooth with almost no input latency, making clicks feel instant. Even though I'm not an expert at Fortnite, it ran exceptionally well on this rig, providing an enjoyable experience overall. If you're a Fortnite main, you could do worse than 3 to 500 FPS, right? Lastly, I tested the newly released survival game Once Human. This game runs on Unreal Engine 5 and is quite graphically advanced. The environments and player models are very detailed, giving the game a polished overall look. I tested this title at 1440p using the medium preset. Games created on Unreal 5 are meant to be visually appreciated, so I didn't want to lower the graphics settings too much. The graphics remained impressive and the game ran at a respectable 75 to 80 FPS. Anything above a consistent 60 FPS looked smooth and at 75 to 80 FPS the game looked great. Motion was clean and inputs felt nearly instant. In summary, this build offers fantastic performance for both 1080 and 1440 gaming with scaling. 
Whether you're a competitive gamer or someone who loves immersive single player experiences, this PC will deliver. If you're interested in purchasing this build, check out the details in the video description below or shoot me a message on Discord. Invite link is also in the description. I'm also offering technical support for one year with the purchase of this machine. And that's all I got for this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates and custom builds like this going forward. See you in the next one.